Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Viligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a subsite in SharePoint 2010. So, let's go ahead and create a subsite. Open the SharePoint portal. To create a subsite, you can go to all site content from the left navigation or you can go from site actions to the all site content. And if you go to the bottom of this screen, under sites and workspaces, you don't have any subsites now. You can click on create. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on create button here. And on the left navigation, filter by site. So in this lesson, we are going to create a blog subsite. To do that, click on blog subsite. If you want something else, you can choose various options here. Now in this lesson, I'm going to choose the blog template. So just give a title here blog the URL name will be simple blog and if you want to look at look into it more uh, options you can click on this more options button and see what are the options you have you can enter the description let's say this subsite is for blogging okay and you can provide unique permissions or same permissions as parent I am using the default option same permissions as parent site and you have navigation if you want to display this site on quick launch of parent site that is our SharePoint journey site you can choose yes and if you want to display the same thing on the top link bar you can choose yes or no you can provide any one of them and navigation inheritance if you want to come back from child site to the parent site you can choose yes as well so I am clicking yes for all the options Okay, and using the default permissions and clicking on create to create the subsite. Okay, so this is our subsite which is used for the blogging in future. So, if I want to go back, you can see here I can click on home. This is because of navigation inheritance, so this will redirect me to root site. If I want to come back to the child site, I can come back from here, or you can see here new left navigation has been created which is having sites and block I can go from here as well to check the permissions go to site settings and click on site permissions you can see here this website inherits the permissions from its parent so it's using same permissions as your parent site so in this lesson you have seen how to create a subset with various options for navigation and permissions Thank you for your time, we'll see you in the next lesson.